Connections of the offshore wind farms. Wind is defined as coming from one area to another which has different temperatures. The wind resource is richer on the offshore than on the onshore, because on the onshore we have obstacles that can reduce the wind speed. Turbines are located on the offshore, and they convert the energy from wind to electricity. These wind turbines can be grouped into wind farms. Wind farms are located far from the center of consumption, such as cities. How can we transport this electricity coming from wind to cities? To understand the problem simply, imagine you have two shafts rotating at different speeds. Now what could you do so that one drives the other without any waste of power? You could just take a third one and glue it to both the sides. But this would twist the joint and ultimately things would break. So what device do you really use to connect both the systems together? There are two main technologies, AC and DC systems. AC transmits the current in the varying waveform. On the other hand, DC does it in a constant way. But the limitations of the AC systems are the cables, which require additional devices in order to increase the efficiency. So, for the bigger amounts of energy and longer distances, the cost of these systems increase. We're going towards DC that are bringing new challenges that should be solved in the near future. Offshore wind turbines are very large massive engineering structures. Over the time, they become larger and larger with the capacity and height. The most powerful offshore wind turbine commercially available today occupies seven football fields and it can power up 16,000 European households. In the future, we need to harness more and more offshore renewable energy. Therefore, we need to increase the capacity and also we need to optimize the weight and volume of this large massive engineering structure. What do you do when the consumption increases and there is a large need for energy? Installing a very big wind turbine could be expensive and challenging at the same time. Therefore, it is more convenient to install many of them and group them into clusters of wind farms and connect them so that we can optimize the use of transmission infrastructure such as cables to the shore instead of laying separate cables for each of them. However, they should be far apart to not cause any interference between them. These are the problems that Work Package 2 is addressing in the InnoDC project. We are Luis, Anup, Giovanna, Gayan, and Anupab. We are looking for innovative solutions for connections of offshore wind farms and their impact on our existing systems.